Chris Robinson. I've written a few books on Plymouth and one in particular on Union Street. I first went to the Palace Theatre about 50 years ago for a gang show when I was a member of the 19th Emmanuel Cub Pack and that was my first experience of, of the spectacular sort of 19th century entertainment complex. We saw serious plays, we saw uh, musical acts as well that came down and it was used as a music venue for quite some time after that before it became a club. I think really the heyday of the Palace would have been well before my time when it first opened because it opened as the biggest entertainment complex west of Bristol. The Livermore Brothers had invested a huge amount of money in it. it. It was on a scale that Plymouth hadn't particularly seen before and although the seating capacity wasn't much greater than the Theatre Royal, because it was a, a theatre of a more populist entertainment in the era of music hall and only silent cinema before the talkies came in, I think that would have undoubtedly been its greatest time really of operating because it, it was the best sort of entertainment. Uh, the, the talkies came in in 1929, radio didn't arrive in, in any shape or form until the early 20s, 1922, BBC started out. So they had f uh, 24 years really where not a lot of competition uh, and yet Union Street was enormously popular, uh, lots of people going down there and yes there were other theatres and other entertainment places down there but the palace would have reigned supreme at that time. It was pretty much across the board, obviously as a musical place it, it wasn't the sort of audience that you'd attract to the opera or to Shakespeare but it was a slightly more discerning. They always maintained that uh, Devonport had the uh, the more common entertainments uh, and the palace would have been somewhere between lowest common denominator and the theatre royal so classes went but the upper classes didn't or the working classes did but it would have been that was the popular entertainment of the day. Variety acts really uh, when I say musical it would have been comedians, singers, jugglers, magicians all that sort of thing right across the board. Union Street was picking up in the late 19th century as a main entertainment hub so he went down to Union Street and knocked a couple of furniture warehouses together and opened the Grand Theatre in 1888 and that did extremely well and that would have been the incentive for the Livermore brothers to think you know, Union Street is very popular, what can we do? There's a site here that we can redevelop and build an even bigger uh, theatre, so that's precisely what they did, and so it would have confirmed in everybody's mind that Union Street was the place to go for entertainment. And then the palace is still having a big impact on the street, even though it's in fairly dire straits at the moment. Sadly, it's it's real heyday we didn't get to see, because when it first opened, it was a lot more spectacular than it is now, and one of the guys that's working on it at the moment thinks that actually what they did was just plaster over the fire damage, so he thinks that uh, they might be able to take the plasterwork that appeared after the reparations had been made after the Great Fire. There was a battle scene on stage and a cannon went off and a spark sort of lit one of the curtains and everybody went home not realising that the curtain was gradually smouldering away and the fire happened overnight so they went back and put the fire out. It didn't destroy the whole theatre clearly but it destroyed a lot of the artwork and the scenery around the stage and the central dome in the palace. The feeling is that it, we might one day see in not too distant future just how spectacular it was under there the role of the palace could be in the future to consolidate Plymouth's status as a, a regional theatre hub and become part a uh, museum of theatre, musical, or what uh, it could be done up to be uh, as an original musical would have been. And uh, you can have workshops down there, maybe a theatre course that the museum enjoy a bit of a revival.